Welcome to Nursing Edge Unscripted, Saga, where we use story to connect the past to the present and then our future as we reimagine our teaching and learning. As we celebrate the NLN year of the nurse educator, we pay tribute to extraordinary nurses who've made significant contributions to nursing education. We dive into the stories of nurse educators who recognized a need, challenged traditional customs, and influenced transformative change. Over the past several months, we have focused on the contributions of educators and thoughtful innovators and scholars who played a significant role in the National League for Nursing's curriculum revolution. That occurred in the 1980s and 90s. Together, they opened the door to new ways to think about curriculum, dialogue, clinical judgment, and the power dynamics inherent in the teacher-student relationship. We most recently celebrated the work of one of the most influential nurse educators of the past half century, Dr. Patricia Benner, Professor Emerita at the University of California, San Francisco, and currently Dean's Scholar at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. In those episodes, we discussed her novice to expert research and work. In the next two episodes, we will turn our attention to her work with the Carnegie Foundation for the Advancement of Teaching that led to the landmark publication, Educating Nurses, A Call for Radical Transformation. The Carnegie Foundation is over 100 years old and its sole mission is to, quote, to do and perform all things necessary to encourage, uphold, and dignify the profession of teaching, end quote. Led by its eighth president, Dr. Lee Shulman, the foundation launched a series of studies in the early 2000s focused on understanding the teaching and learning or signature pedagogies of five different professions. They began with clergy studies published in 2005. This was followed by law and engineering and ended with nursing and medicine. The foundation was specifically interested in understanding the signature pedagogies of these professions and the lessons that could be learned and shared in the education of future teachers. Dr. Shulman writes that, quote, a professional is not someone for whom understanding is sufficient. Understanding is necessary, yes, but not sufficient. A professional has to be prepared to act, to perform, to practice, whether they have enough information or not, end quote. In a talk delivered by Dr. Shulman in 2005, hosted by the National Research Council's Center for Education, he introduced the importance of these studies. Quote, the job of the arts and sciences faculty member is to bring students to a depth of critical understanding of the discipline. But when you're preparing someone to teach, the educator in a profession is teaching someone to understand in order to act, to act in order to make a difference in the minds and lives of others, to act in order to serve others responsibly and with integrity, end quote. When the Carnegie Foundation was ready to address the challenges of nursing education, the work of Dr. Patricia Benner, social scientist and humanist, an experienced nurse, chaired professor, distinguished scholar, and a conscience to her profession, all characteristics cited by Dr. Shulman, was the natural choice. Dr. Benner led a team of scientists and researchers and close associates, Drs. Molly Sutfin, Victoria Leonard, and Lisa Day. The team worked with nine participating schools of nursing who provided interviews, allowed for observation in their clinical sites, classrooms, and labs. They also worked closely with a collection of national nursing organizations to include the NLN, AACN, ANA, NCSBN, and NSNA, 
to conduct three national surveys. The Carnegie Foundation framework that underpinned the study of education and the professions clearly identified that professional education is a synthesis of three apprenticeships a cognitive apprenticeship wherein one learns to think like a professional, a practical apprenticeship where one learns to perform like a professional, and a moral apprenticeship where one learns to think and act in a responsible and ethical manner that integrates across all three domains. Dr. Benner and her colleagues conducted their study of the profession of nursing through this Carnegie lens. In their publication, Transforming Nursing Education, A Call for Radical Transformation, early on, they identified that the demands of practice require professionals to, quote, learn constantly and integrate knowledge, skilled know-how, and ethical comportment, end quote. Their observations and interviews reviewed the intersections and relationships about these three apprenticeships. They believed that, quote, an educational experience that carefully integrated these three apprenticeships better prepares students to integrate them into professional practice, end quote. Throughout their report, they focused their findings on the importance of this integration during the educational experience. In our next episode, we will take a deeper dive into Benner and colleagues' findings that made visible and carefully articulated the necessary changes to truly transform nursing education. And so the saga continues. And may our saga continue as we bring to a close this episode of Nursing Edge Unscripted Saga. Thank you for joining us. And remember, good teaching doesn't just happen. Find your fit, push the boundaries, and celebrate the ahas. <laughs>